Welcome to step two. Now, in the background between steps one, video one and video two, you'll note that when you sign up with these accounts that they'll ask you for confirmation emails and both Instagram and Twitter asked for a confirmation email. These were confirmed in the background just so the accounts are up and running so we go straight into phase two which is looking at the profile setup. Now the other thing that was done in the background here in terms of because I'm using a generated brand, now I won't need Wordoid at this point after this, I am looking at the component parts of the brand to get sort of a message and meaning around it. If you're using your own brand, you don't need to, but here that we actually have the keyword that we've got the Irish goddess of summer, so Looking through, again, Wikipedia is fine for this. Wikipedia is just, you know, it's an information source. Sometimes represented by a red mare. Okay. Now we've got something to start working with. So, knowing that this is the visual representation that is commonly used for this particular brand and identity, we're going to borrow initially because I'm sitting here at a keyboard and I don't have opportunity to go create stuff right now. We're going to look at what's a useful brand we could start with. How could we start making use of this? Now again the steps are Google, Google search. But welcome to Google image search and the search tools. Because I want to use this image I'm going to go change my search functions. Now, for the purpose of this video, I have safe search on because I am expecting this to go wrong because it's the internet. What I'm looking for is, do I have my commercial use? I'm going to go label for reuse and label for or reuse and modification. We'll start there first. What do we have? Looking for a horse to be a sort of logo emblem. Well, that's interesting. Let's have a look at that. Again, middle click to open into the background. And I'm seeing a common thing here, the Pixabay. Pixabay. All right, there's a site we should go have a look at. So Pixabay is, this graphic's kind of okay. I'm going to pop that into the background. Let's go visit the page. What is Pixabay's operation? Let's have a look at this. Ah, there's a sign up. Again, I'm doing this. But notice here, now we have accounts. It's a lot easier. So, public domain image sharing. Nope. We've got the opportunity to fill in our uh, companion. I'll just clean that out in the background. So moving back to looking at with Pixabay. OK, here's an image. It's a starting point. We'll save the image. The challenge will be, to a large extent at the moment, we have no image editing. So, free image editor online. Oh, look, Adobe is going to be convenient, and so is Pixlr. Pixlr is pretty good. I've used it before, so. We can take an image from URL. Oops, helps if I don't do that. Open image from URL. Let's see if this works. Now, again, I have the advantage here. I have a brand. I have a name. But you also will have that brand and that name. So now you need to start making design decisions. In my case, one of the design decisions I need to work out is I'm going to need to think about fonts, but my color scheme is basically uh, something that will work with red. Now let's go back over here and pick say, Instagram to start with. 
We have still haven't worked out quite what the brand is, but let's have a look at options. So the change profile picture. Upload a picture, we can just take we can't actually take that image because we don't have one of the right format. Again, mistakes early, mistakes often. So with nothing to work with here, let's go back to our image editor. Now, one of the things I know about Instagram is Instagram tends to be square. So we want to go and possibly rework the canvas adjustments. Image edit, canvas size. So we want to make the canvas size square. We want to put the logo at the top. It looks very much like what would happen with Adobe Photoshop should it um, ever decide to give up working as a separate application. Now, the sort of Celtic motif, you're going to be wanting to think through what do you have available as different fonts. I have a feeling that this would loan itself to sort of um, cursive. Though the horse image does say it could do something in a nice sort of middle. Want something in a largish font, and you want to again. I'm thinking colors, we should take something out of the color scheme itself. I think we can possibly even go slightly larger on that font. Again, I'm doing all this in real time to show you that it is just something that can be done. You can just go, Okay, I want to have this happen, I'm going to do it. The trick always in this is about making something, making decisions and making decisions fast. So, decision's been made. Let's take the master logo. Now, a bit later, I'm going to go change this logo. I'm going to want to create my own logo. I'm going to want to build my own stuff. I want to have something that looks slightly less like a demon horse. But for now, I have a logo, I have the name, I can go back to different places and start creating my image and start creating my profiles. We don't have a website yet, so we'll leave that alone. Theme color, oh, everything we're going to work with is going to be in red. And happy birthday to us, it's February. We won't worry about the year. And because it's going to go and complain if I don't do it otherwise, I'm still thinking through my uh, bio, so that's a statement area that we'll have to make. Uh, I'll do some offline thinking on that one. So now we have Twitter in its primary. We've still got to send out a tweet, we've still got to get started, but we have some fundamental decisions made, platforms created, and we're beginning to build a consistent image across. So let's start running through the setup. I'm, leave, I'm dropping these out now to change the image. Select a photo from your computer. Mm -hmm. 
So we now have Gmail with a logo. We have a logo. I do need to make one change to the Gmail accounts, and that is on the personal info. change the name. So we now are operating in Instagram setup, Google setup, Twitter is set up. We have made a series of fast decisions. The other aspect that if you already have a series of you already have your Facebook account, you can come back and create a page to support what happens in your and a Facebook page is a legitimate part of the assessment tasks so page creation page setup is going to be a third step we will look at